Hey everybody, this is Jeff with Top Edge Window Tinting in Apex, and today I'm here to address one of the most popular questions I get, which is, what makes one car more difficult than the next car to tint? And today I'm gonna to show you a framed window versus an unframed door window, and what makes them more difficult, and a little bit about the process on how I tint them. So with that, let's jump right in. One of the most common questions that I get is what makes one window more difficult than another window? So today I'm gonna to try and explain some of the different types of windows and what makes them more difficult than the other. All right, so today we're looking at a Model Y and this is an unframed window and here are the challenges with this one. Up here in the front, I don't know if you could see, but there is a little bit of clear glass. Some shops will not tint that spot to save time and save money. So they will just come up the side and then round this up. A better shop that's a little more meticulous is gonna take the time to bend the tint to fit in that spot. They're also gonna make sure to get this edge perfect and this edge perfect since it's visible all the time, every single time you drive your car and get in or get out of it. And we're gonna take the time to make sure that we cover this piece here, which is a little bit more obvious when we film on the inside but it dips down, a lot of people will just come across. So I'm gonna jump in and start to tint this window to show you what I'm talking about. So here it is, the film is just kind of rough cut and laying on the outside. One of the things that you can notice is all these, what we consider it as tinters, finger bubbles, because they're in the shape of your fingers. So you can see we've got one, two, three, four, five, six of them. One of the things that makes a window more difficult on one car than another is the size of these. The larger and more of them that there are, the harder the window will be. This is considered about average. So with this all has to be heat shaped to match the shape of this window. And we're gonna do that on the outside while the clear is still on the tint so that we don't get any contaminants in it. So what I'm doing now is I'm gonna get ready to shape this piece of tint to match this glass perfectly. One of the ways we do that is we pull all of these bubbles down to the bottom. Okay, so what I just did is I used the heat gun to shrink all these bubbles down so that now we're perfectly formed to the shape of the glass. And I'm gonna begin to trace out the edges of the glass now. Okay, so now I've shaped it and I've cut the bottom to size and now I'm gonna cut the front edge to size by running my knife right along the edge. I'm gonna pull off the excess. Now I stopped before the top so that I can make sure that I have enough film to cover that little space right there. And now we're gonna move over to here to do some rounding of the corners that is safer here on this glass. So I just started the file and you can see I'm taking off just a little bit that I left over the edge. And I have to take this off so that it doesn't peel off when the door closes or the window rolls down and it's now perfectly up against the edge. It's smooth. Now we have perfect micro edge all the way around this unframed window so it looks like a factory tint job. I already showed you guys a unframed window. Today, I'm gonna to show you what it's like to tint a framed window and what makes it easier or more difficult than an unframed window. Okay, so we have this Audi A8 and it has a framed window, meaning it, the glass goes up into the frame. This one's really difficult and let me explain why. This rubber, I hope it's showing up in the video, is much smaller on the inside than it is on the outside. And you could see when I put my finger up against the rubber on the outside, it's much smaller in inside. So it's important when I'm tinting 
that I tinted all the way to the outside edge so that no light line, no line at all is shown. You just want to see a fully tinted window with no edges. But what's going to make that really difficult is trying to get past this rubber, which is touching up against the glass. Whereas the unframed glass, we had nothing in the way. All right, so I'm just going to show you guys how I cut a framed window. I showed you on the Tesla how I cut an unframed door. This is just a slightly different process. So I'm just gonna walk you through that. I like to trim that so that I can get a nicer, nicer, tighter cut on the edge. So on a car that had looser rubbers, I would slide this tint over so that it became larger on the inside than it was on the outside, but because it is so tight, I'm cutting it exact. So meaning I'm not gonna move this over other than just a hair. And all that's left now is to cut across the top edge. And that's it for cutting the window. I'm gonna pull it onto the side and I trim all my edges and uh, then that one is ready to go. Hey guys, so I hope you found this video a little informative and enjoyable to watch. Uh, I did my best to show you the difference between the framed door and the unframed door today. In the future, I'll make a few more videos that show some of the other nuances of one car versus another car. So with that, I will leave you for today and look forward to more in the future.